If you're trying to make a randomizer effect like one of these, this is how you do it. Alright, so we're going to be working off of the randomizer 2D template because I figured why reinvent the wheel. But if you'd want like a custom one where you sort of make one from scratch, do let me know. So as soon as you open up the template, you're going to be met with a scene that has a 2D camera, which represents the 2D camera that like your phone is going to be using. So we're not going to be making any changes to that. You're going to have a canvas that has a title, which is the title of the effect and a random animation sequence, which is what is going to be making all the all the random like pictures that you want to make. If you click on random animation sequence and you head over to the inspector on the right hand side, you're going to be met with all sorts of changes that you're allowed to make to that little picture that says Jupiter in it. Right. So you could change like the position, move it slightly to the left or right or like up or down or whatever. Uh, but we're going to be skipping all that and we're going to go right down to animation sequence and we are going to be changing the texture sequence. But before we do that, we need to import all the randomizer photos that the effect is going to use. I created all of mine using a software called Krita, which is fairly easy to use and it is also free. So I basically just imported a picture of the character and I put their name over it. I used, I think, Luckiest Guy font for this and they turned out sort of like this. Another piece of software that you could use is Canva, which is also free to use. You just need to sign up for it and, you know, use it online. But it is free and it does have really cool tools as well. So what we're going to be doing is importing all of them at once. So you're going to hover over the assets area and you're going to right click, which is going to bring up this little pop-up panel that says import new folder. Tra. So you're going to click on import. And instead of importing from computer, what you're going to do is import a texture sequence. So you're going to click on all of your photos. You can do that by, you know, just holding shift. If you want to sort of press them one by one, then you hold control and you click on them individually. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that all of your photos have to be the exact same resolution and all of your pictures have to be less than a thousand kilobytes or like less than one megabyte B big. <laughs> so for me, I had to end up taking Teruhashi out. I'll put it in for like the final effect that goes online, but um, essentially I use 900 by 900 for my resolution for all of them and everyone but Teruhashi made it underneath the one megabyte mark. Uh, her image was still over that, so I've taken her out for this recording. So now I have imported them. They've imported in a little like mega folder called textures. And as you can see, underneath textures is the word Aren, which is one of the characters and all subsequent characters are in there. So if you click on it and just wait for it to compress, uh, you can see all the characters over there on the bottom right hand side. I'm also just going to rename textures to characters for the sake of this video so that it looks, you know, neat and tidy. You don't have to, but yeah, that's what I've decided to do. So now that all the photos are compressed and everything's ready to go, we are going to click on random animation sequence again. And we're going to go down to there where I showed you at the beginning, animation sequence, and you're going to click on texture sequence that's going to bring up this little pop-up and what you want to click on under the file characters or if you didn't rename it it'd still be textures under there there is uh you know the rn file so i click on rn and i hit ok and that is going to replace the little jupiter square with all the pictures that i've added Now let's move on to the title of the effect. Now with effects, I would advise that you leave the effect as open-ended as possible. Because if you add a title like, I don't know, wear this character's outfit for a week, then, you know, uh, TikTok users can only use that effect for that and like pretty much nothing else. But if you leave it open-ended, then your effect can be used for like different challenges and different things you know, different like games if they want to use it for games, um, you know, and that sort of thing. And 
you know that way more people will be able to use your effect so if you don't want to have a title at all then you go to the hierarchy on the top left this section of here and you basically just hover over this little tick and you you click it so that there's no tick in the box and that switches the title off now your effect has no title it's just going to be the randomizer so if you look here at the preview scene then you see there isn't like a question before the randomizer it's just you know the pictures if you do want the title on then just make sure that the title box is checked so that title is switched on and then if you head over to the inspector you get the little section here that says image and what we're going to be changing is the texture so you're going to want to have your title saved as a picture and then import that picture into into effect house and make sure that you're importing it if it's just text as a png so that your background is transparent so what you're going to do is head back to the asset menu you're going to right click again and you're going to import import from computer please don't be like me um, import from computer and select your title Also bear in mind that the photos that you import can't exceed 1024 by 1024, like their resolution. So just bear that in mind when importing uh, photos into Effect House. So once you've imported the photo into Effect House, then what you want to do is head back to title in the hierarchy, then go all the way over to the inspector and uh, go to image texture and just drag and drop the photo that you imported into the little texture box over there and you will have your title i'm sorry mine is really small it, it looks like it's whispering um <laughs> it's supposed to say whose personality do you have but it's more like whose personality do you have anyways it works for this demonstration so i just kept it this way please make a better title if you're going to be using this like for real for real so what you're going to do is just check that everything you've done is working properly so you're going to go into your preview scene and you're going to reload your effect and as you can see over here after i've reloaded my effect i have the title the whispery title and then i have the random images being generated after that also, I know it looks like the randomizing really, really slow over here, but it's just my monitor wasn't plugged into the computer. They're doing it at their normal speed that you've seen on TikTok before. For those that don't want a title before the randomizer starts, you know, doing its thing with the images, if you just switch your title off, I know you probably realize that there's like a delay before the images, you know, start generating. So what you want to do is remove that delay so that your images appear right off the bat so what we're going to do is you're going to head over to your visual scripting section over here and uh, if you look at your randomized node there is a little thing here called title delay so what you're going to do is set your title delay to zero and that's going to remove the delay that's been set in place for your title to show I'm just going to show you with this little preview on TikTok over here. As you can see, the time has been, you know, shortened, but that's still not enough because there's another delay uh, being called from, uh, if you look at your visual scripting randomized node again, there's a little section there called title fade out time. And that's, you know, the time set in place for the title to sort of fade out before your effect, uh, you know, like, comes in so we're also going to set that to zero and that is going to make sure that your effect uh, starts right off the bat okay and here is another tiktok preview as you can see it starts as soon as i click record and that's not who we want we want the main character let's try that again again starts right off the bat who do we get cash money <laughs> but that is essentially how uh, you you create that effect i hope this video helped if it did please leave a thumbs up so that i know that it did 
uh feel free to tell me all about your effect in the comments if that's what you want to do feel free to geek out about psyche in the comments as well it's my favorite show ever so i'd be more than happy to do that with you um thank you in my next video i am going to be going over how to actually upload uh, an effect onto onto tiktok of uh, what things are necessary before you can upload and go through that entire process if you're interested in that please um you know hit subscribe so that you see my video when it comes up uh hit the notification bell if you like a notification when that video comes up and yeah thank you for watching bye